what do you think some of the obstacles are in the place of uh, LGBTQ students? And have you experienced any of the ones that we've mentioned personally? I mean, I think that the the uh, conversation now is in a lot of places we've made a, a lot of progress. I know in gay rights and but and in tra the trans the whole trans movement is it, we we need to make a lot of progress. I mean, even myself growing up um, in California, I grew up in a small town um, in between Sacramento and Tahoe, and uh, uh, I remember I came out as a freshman in high school, and the first day I came out, I was thrown in, thrown in front of a bus. And um, I remember walking down the street, and I and I knew that, I, that there was a possibility that I could be unsafe, but I never realized that someone could, you know, drive by, throw rocks out their car car at me, and call me a faggot. Um, for a lot of LGBT students and and youth, um, it's they're just scared to live their lives. They just want to live their life and, and, and have a safe space to go. I remember I, there's, I, there are schools across the country where you don't, uh, students don't feel comfortable talking to their teachers. Um, so it's really important that we take this dialogue and those of us who uh, have a, an ability to um, change the conversation into one of inclusiveness and acceptance. And Zach, in terms of allyship, in that case that you just mentioned uh, in your own experience, what what had you wished allies would have done in that moment? What what would have helped you um, get through that kind of traumatic experience? I mean, I was the first openly gay person in my in my high school, and I didn't know who to turn to at that point. Um, I didn't. I, I wasn't necessarily comfortable talking to my family about these situations at the time, um, and I. I think all I would have needed at that point was just a uh, a, a person, um, a, a helping hand, or a person just willing to listen and willing to st and so, you know somebody willing to st to st stick up for you. I mean, when you're 13, 14 years old, um, it's a pretty scary place to be. Um, and any any support you can get, and that's when when I got the Point Foundation scholarship, I was so blown away that there was a whole group of people that were able to support me and su and support my dreams. Um, any support that you can get um, is uh, important.